How's it going, everyone? I just have a real quick video here. <clears throat> uh, I just want to show and demonstrate some of the capabilities of an EcoFlow solar panel that I have acquired recently. And the one I'm going to be talking about is this one here. It is the EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial portable solar panel. Uh, and this is the newer version uh, that EcoFlow has released. There is a version one uh, that has a slightly different design and different prop up legs uh, and is not bifacial. Uh, this particular panel here is bifacial, meaning that you can pull power or solar power from both the front and the back side of the panel. And again, it is rated at 220 watts on the front side and uh, 175 watts on the rear side. So you can get well over 300 watts theoretically of input from this panel. Uh, if you can have that bifacial aspect working in your favor. And currently, I have it plugged into an EcoFlow River Pro 2 power station. And it is currently pulling in 220 watts exactly uh, from that panel right here, which is pretty decent. Uh, we actually drop back down to 219. But what I'm assuming is, because usually solar panels do not bring in the exact amount that they're rated at. So to see basically 220 watts coming in is not a usual thing to see. Uh, but again, I'm assuming it has to do with uh, the fact again that this is bifacial and uh, this wall behind me here is white and incredibly reflective right now. So I'm assuming that part of that reflection from the wall is going on to the back side of this panel, uh, which is bringing in that extra bit of power. So really really nice now to give a quick look at the other side here i don't want to shade it but you can kind of see uh that we have a little bit of a connector here where the mc4 connectors come in and the panel itself is divided up into four different sections that are foldable uh, so again you can fold this up and put it in uh, a carrying bag that is included so it does include a carrying bag in the box uh, to allow you to uh, pack it around with you pretty easily. And now we'll go back to this power station again. We're actually now pulling in 223 watts. So, and this, what's weird is this power station is actually only rated at 220 watts of solar power maximum. So we're actually three watts over what the maximum is allowed. But yeah, really good. So today is a really good day, really good reflectivity for that bifacial. And yeah, so far the, in the time that I've been using this uh, panel uh, for camping and various things, it has been spectacular. I mean, it is allowing me, and I could basically power various devices based effectively indefinitely. Um, I can have a Wi-Fi router, uh, I could power my Starlink uh, satellite dish, um, a, 12 volt portable refrigerator. All of that could be running off of this particular power station and the 220 watt panel with no problems. And it just keeps running all of that pretty much indefinitely as long as there is adequate sun. So, so again, here's the sky. Same amount of cloud cover that was right there in the middle of the screen. You can see that is where, again, the sun is peeking through the clouds. Um, but again, the clouds are nearly 100% of cloud cover, probably around 95-ish percent. If we go down here to the display, as you can see, the 220 watt panel is bringing in 36 watts of total power. Um, and as we can see, it's kind of jumped up one watt now. We're now at 37 watts. And on this particular power station, being at 95%, it's going to take roughly an estimated 10 minutes uh, to fully charge to 100% with that input wattage of 37 watts. And so, yeah, with this 220 watt panel only getting 37 watts, uh, that's fr pretty low for this panel because on a good sunny day, this panel can average around 216 watts of input. So obviously clouds make a huge difference uh, for your solar panels. And obviously the bigger panels that you can ha have on a cloudy day, the more power you're going to generate. So anyway, that was just kind of a quick look at the 220 watt EcoFlow portable solar panel version two. Um, if you guys are interested in picking this up, uh, you can 
uh, take a look in the description below for a link uh, if you want to go get some more information. And, but yeah, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.